When I was in sixth grade, I failed art. I don't know how that's possible, but I did it. Then again, it doesn't look like I had a lot of artistic skills. I'm not an artist, but I do enjoy learning about art. Recently, I was reading about how contrast in artwork can be used to draw out certain points. Contrast between black and white, large and small, and so forth are tools that can be used by artists. Finding contrast in the scriptures can also help us gain valuable insights. Today, I want to highlight a lesson we can learn by contrasting two prophets, Enoch and Moses. We will read about Enoch in Moses 6 and Moses in Exodus 3 and 4. In Moses 6, 27, the Lord said to Enoch, Enoch, my son, prophesy unto this people and say unto them, Repent. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 10, the Lord told Moses, I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. So Enoch was to call the people to repentance, and Moses was to go to Pharaoh to set the Israelites free. Notice how they both respond similarly to their call from the Lord. In Moses 6.31, Enoch said, I am but a lad, and all the people hate me, for I am slow of speech. Wherefore am I thy servant? In Exodus 4.10, Moses said, I am not eloquent, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. In other words, they both felt inadequate for the job because they weren't good speakers. The Lord responded similarly to each of them. In Moses 6.32, the Lord said to Enoch, Go forth and do as I have commanded thee. Open thy mouth, and it shall be filled. In Exodus 4.11, we read, And the Lord said unto Moses, Who hath made man's mouth? Have not I the Lord? Go, and I will be thy mouth. In other words, the Lord said to each of them, I'm the one who made you. I can give you the power to speak well. Now, here's where there's a significant contrast in these accounts. After the Lord told Moses, You can do it, Moses still hesitated. In Exodus 4.13, Moses said, O my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. Or in other words, thanks for the opportunity, Lord, but could you please send somebody else? In contrast, Enoch made no excuses. He went and did. In verses 37 through 39, we read, And it came to pass that Enoch went forth in the land among the people and cried with a loud voice, testifying against their works. And fear came on all them that heard him, for he walked with God. Enoch became a mighty speaker because he chose to do what the Lord asked of him. He didn't think he could do it, but he chose to rise to the Lord's expectations. In our day, the Lord is raising the bar for each of us spiritually as we prepare in a manner which has never been known previously. As President Russell M. Nelson taught, It is now time that we each implement extraordinary measures, perhaps measures we have never taken before, to strengthen our personal spiritual foundations. Unprecedented times call for unprecedented measures. We face a lot of challenges today, and some may wonder if they can rise to the level that the Lord expects. That's how Enoch felt as well. It might be tempting for us just to go with the flow, but instead we can be like Enoch. When the Lord calls us to do more challenging things, we can rise to that call. President Henry B. Eyring said, speaking of the youth of the church, in the days ahead, the Lord will raise the spiritual bar again and again, and our youth will rise higher and higher to more than clear that rising expectation. They will make the choices to receive the promised spiritual outpouring deep in their hearts. I pray that these words will be true for each one of us.